It's been quiet for a few years now, but I'm delighted to tell you that thanks to falling insurance rates, the hot hatch is back. The boys are back in town. I said. This is the newest of the rocket-powered shopping trolleys, the 120 horsepower Citroen Saxo VTS. Now, 120 horsepower is a lot, especially when you remember the car only weighs two ounces. Spread the word around. That it could do 127 miles an hour was no big surprise, but I was staggered to read that this quasi-rally car could do 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds, that it's faster than the old Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. I saw the rat, and I was right. You build it up to maximum revs in first, go for second, and there's the clue. The engine bogs down just a bit, but it's enough to tell me that this has a very high second gear. Now that means there's no need to make a time-consuming shift into third before you get to 60. Now the result is the car is less satisfactory to drive, but <laughs> it has a very fast 0 to 60 time, which is what matters most of all in Boy Racerland. The gearing though is about my only complaint. It feels like a substantial quality car, and there's more. The power steering is perfectly weighted, the road holding is beyond your wildest dreams, and the anti-lock disc brakes mean it can get you out of trouble, even faster than it got you there in the first place. But hot hatchbacks do so much more than simply dole out g-forces in the corners. There's a decent-sized boot and space in the back for a couple of children. In the front, well, here goes. I've got marvellous sports seats, electric door mirrors, electric windows, a sunshine roof, a stereo, two airbags, remote control central locking. I've also got an alarm and this electronic keypad. The car won't start until you put your own personalised number in there. It's a good idea, because, of course, car thieves can't read, so they never get past it. And as a result of that, insurance is relatively inexpensive. We checked, and a 29-year-old living in Solihull, fully comp, 400 quid. And the cost of the car, ready? £12,620. That is a little cracker. But wait, so is this, the new Fiat Punto GT. Whereas the Citroen has a 1.6-litre 16-valve engine, in this you only get 1.4 litres and 8 valves. But to compensate, you get a turbo. Mmm, amusing. this would appear to be a tad slower than the Citroen, but when it comes to mid-range grunt, the stuff you need safe overtaking, it blows the French car into the weeds. There are problems though. For starters, it looks too ordinary. For a main, the ride is too soft. And for dessert, you get a choice. The gearbox is a bit too, I don't know, flobbery and ill-defined, and the steering system, it's a bit like wrestling with a not-quite-dead cod. Now, I like steering that talks to you, that sends messages, but this one, 
it will not shut up. On top of all that, the Fiat costs a little more than the Citroen, and it doesn't have quite as much standard equipment. It's a nice car, it's an exciting car too, and it's spacious and practical, and it's built better than Fiat's of old. If you were to buy one, I'm sure you'd love it to death, but from my point of view, the Citroen is just a tiny bit more exciting, and therefore, a tiny bit better. In fact, Citroen's having a good day, because it's a lot better than this. Volkswagen is credited with having invented the hot hatch, so I was expecting a lot from the 16-valve Polo. Come on, car. Come on, come on. Let's have 60. Come on. We have a 16-valve engine, but so does a Nissan Micra. There we are, 60. <laughs> you don't use a stopwatch to measure this car's acceleration. You use a calendar. I was looking for some fun here, but compared to the Citroen, it's drizzle. 100 horsepower is not enough. Sure, it costs £600 less than the Citroen, and it's probably built to a higher standard. But you pay extra for a passenger airbag, you pay extra for an alarm, you pay extra for ABS. Ordinary polos are very good, but unfortunately the hot version is only lukewarm. However, before we name the Citroen as the best little hot hatchback, it has one last hurdle to clear. A very big hurdle. This is it, the Peugeot 106 GTI, star, I think, of the best car ad I've ever seen. The Peugeot takes the gold medal and the Citroen has silver, which is odd because they're the same car with the same body, the same price and the same engine. Sure, it doesn't have a sunshine roof or a passenger airbag, and it's slower from 0 to 60. But there's the question of image to consider here. You see, Citroen has a reputation for making the 2CV. Peugeot, on the other hand, has a reputation for making the finest handling small cars on Earth. A reputation that this... takes to new and uncharted heights. <coughs> Most drivers today have grown up with front-wheel drive. We're used to the safe understeer that results. And that's what you get, ultimately, from the 106. But it feels like it's got rear-wheel drive, which is what enthusiasts want. This is something very, very special. A practical everyday car, small enough to hack it in town, but big enough for a family. It's very much a girl next door, but when no one is looking, it becomes the wildest lap dancer in Christendom. Ah. 